welcome back to my channel today I am doing something I have been waiting so long to do and it's really my fault that I waited this long because I just you know was taking my time gathering what I needed and technically I still don't have everything so this is just gonna be part one of me reorganizing and decorating my office the first step in this process is saying goodbye to my backdrop this has been on my wall since the end of October. It is now January 2nd. I think it served its purpose. So let's 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 take it down. I haven't seen this wall look like this in three months. <laughs> That's crazy. Now that that is done, I think I want to do the organizational portion first. Um, and the one thing that I bought for that, let me bring it over here, is actually, so I actually wrote down here, this is where I stored it. And it had, it's like a perfect fit for right here, but it, it didn't come with this, but uh, it's a little file bin, um, but it's the kind where you have the type of folders that catch on the side and they hang. So the, I got a pack of those, so hanging file folders. And then I, all of these papers piled up down here need to be sorted. They don't, there's no sort of organization down there. I initially had gotten this to organize papers, but I'm like, no, that's not gonna do it. That's, that's not good enough. <laughs> So I'm still probably gonna use this for maybe stuff that I'm using like currently, like current bills and stuff before they get transferred into that. Um, but yeah, this was, I wasn't thinking big enough with this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get started by, I guess I should figure out what categories I need for my folders. Let me open these up first. So these are the U brand from Target hanging file folders in assorted colors. This is a 12 count. Um, these I think were $10. They had the set of six, um, but those were $7. So for double the amount and only $3 more, I just got the 12 count. And so this is what they look, out, look like fresh out of the box. Can I see anything? Nope, that's empty. And then we have, so they have the little labels in the package already as well. I was salty though, because there are no green folders in here. Like what? All of these, green would have went very well with this color palette here, but it's fine. Here are the little labels so that you have the paper that you slide in and then the little sleeve. And I guess you just like pinch it on kind of For now, I'll just get out one of each. I don't know how many I'm going to need. And actually, I probably should, I'm not even gonna go through all that right now, but because I have papers elsewhere, like in the closet in my office that probably should be sorted into these folders, but I'm not gonna do all of that right now. Um, but I do know I'm probably gonna need to designate one of these for tax purposes, um, but all my tax papers are in the closet right now. So here are the four we have sitting out here. I know I want one for receipts so I just grabbed these out of my kitchen I was keeping them in the same place where I sort my mail but it's getting kind of out of hand here <laughs> um, I usually I used to not really even be a receipt set oh shoot this is the letter letting me know that my they, my graduation pictures are available and the deadline to order them is tomorrow whoops uh, maybe I'll, it won't end up having any that's that's a possibility and this is Secretary of State. So these are just important things, not bills. So let's grab from here. So we know we need receipts. So here, let me write out the receipts one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. So there's little like slits inside of the folder and these little like anchor hooks on the side go into the slit so you can decide where you want it. So this one here, 
and then you have the one up peeking over and so forth. Okay, gotcha. So this is receipts. I probably will put this one in the front because I'm pretty sure I will be reaching or dropping things in that one more often. <sighs> Make sure I know how to spell receipt. I'll tell me if I spelled that right. I'm not even gonna look it up. <laughs> there is no reason for words to be this complicated. Receipts. Where does the P even come from, bro? Where does the P come from? Why is there a P in receipt? This one's gonna go in here like so. And then in there like so. And there you go. We have receipts. There's that. I don't think there might be more receipts under here, maybe. But here's our thing. Oh, you can't even see it. Here we go. And just right on in there. And then the little side things catch on the bar on the side. And there it is. Our receipt folder. And then you just take it in and out real easy. If the papers aren't hanging out, that makes a difference. Yeah, there we go. Have our first file film. Now we need to sort through what's under here. So, papers. This is supposed to be a budget journal. Um, I don't know if I've ever even written in it. <laughs> yeah, my financial goals. Nothing written there. What's this? Are these stickers? Oh no, it's a picture. Oh, wait. And I have my picture box sitting right over here. I'll just put those in there. A picture from me and my friends in college sitting in. Actually, the cousin that was here for New Year's, that's her in the front right here. But that we were in her apartment, her and her roommate over here, Caprio. That, and that's the one that I went to uh, dinner with on Monday in, last, in the vlog I posted. Well, today for me, but Monday of this week. I posted it on the, that's the, yeah, today's the second, so. The vlog that went up on the second. I, I was with her on the first day of that vlog, and she was there on the last day of the vlog. <laughs> but yeah, um, my little teddy. <laughs> I, Tasia probably wouldn't appreciate me showing this, but this is one of her. I think this is her high school picture. Is this her senior? Oh, fresh her. Yeah, her freshman. Oh, 15 years old. That's crazy. My baby. I have my photo box over there, so I'll just leave those out. Yeah, there's nothing written in here, but I guess I'll hold on to it. Effective phrases for performance appraisal. You know what? I might actually need this. <laughs> what is this? Are these current? Coverage effective date for 2020. Yeah, these are current. So maybe I'll get, have a folder for insurance stuff. What is this? Garbage, I think. Anything else in here? What is this? Like notebook. This is things to do. This is oh, instructions and stuff. I need a folder for work stuff as well. Okay, there was not as many papers under here as I initially thought, which means most of them are in my closet. Is it mail things? What's down here? site map for my apartment complex. Um, I guess I'll save this folder. Is there anything in here? This is the envelope my my master's degree the diploma thing came in. I don't think I need this anymore. Okay, so we decided we need I need a bill one because okay I didn't even look at stuff I put down here. So this is a bill. I'm not gonna say the entire bill, just the page with the information I need on it. I don't get very many paper bills anyway though. So let's see, we need bills, credit cards, insurance, medical. I guess I will make a folder for car stuff too, even though I don't have anything down here yet. Um, anything else? Oh, work. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? I don't think you do. 
Okay. Receipts, bills, credit cards. What is this? Credit card. Oh, I think I need to make another one. I need to make one for apartment stuff. Okay. Now it's time for insurance. This is car stuff. Right, car stuff. Uh, a work. Work stuff. Technically, this is the last one. I still have four more folders available if you need to see. still have quite a bit well I have yeah four more little plastic things and then a little more than a full stack of the little labels so I'm just gonna rubber band these back together so I still have all these extra folders there's four here and I'm just gonna drop those in there and drop this back here there you go so now we have some organization. Love that. I have my old work computer down here. I mean, not work computer, my old uh, school computer. I have not touched it since I moved in here because I've been done with school since before then. I looked to see what the trading value would be. It's a Lenovo Yoga. Um, I looked to see what the trading value would be and they were talking about like, I think they said like $80. This was like a $900 laptop, and you're gonna give me eight. I mean, give me $80. I'd rather just keep it and not use it. Give it to y'all for that amount. That's nuts. But yeah, so this needs to find a home. Just not quite sure where it's going to end up. Next step in organization is actually sorting out all of my writing utensils. Right now they're kind of separated, so I have these here, and these are divided into like categories. So I have like permanent markers, dry erase markers, pens and highlighters, and then just pens up here. There should be pen yeah, there's pencils in here too. Okay, so there's that, and then I also have this giant mug of writing utensils. Um, some of these I'm probably going to not, I don't know. We'll see, they might all end up in there. But for this organization, oh, excuse me. For organizing my utensils, I actually got this uh, like four quadrant uh, rotating storage thing. I got this from Target. I don't remember exactly how much it cost. I'm sure it was on one of those receipts I just put in my organizer, but we're gonna go through and sort my writing utensils. So apparently I'm a sticky note hoarder. I just threw out quite a few. There's more down in there, but yeah. I don't know why I hold on to everything I write on a sticky note. Like just in case I need to remember after I've done it already, who knows. But these are just the few that I actually wrote things on that I would like to remember. And then there's like a fortune in here. And then I think this business card is from the guy that I actually got my current car from. And he really gave me an amazing deal. And after, my dad tried to go back there after the fact and he wasn't there anymore. So I don't know if the deal he gave me was just so good that they had to let him go. But uh, Ernie, if you're out there, 
I appreciate you. These are all the pins. I don't wanna just throw them in the garbage. I should probably test them to see if they work right. These are all pins that I've gotten from like career fairs. Um, honestly, I should just throw them in the garbage. Yeah, I'm gonna throw them out. No sense in keeping them. No sense in keeping them. We are not hoarding. I will not hoard. I feel like you go in here. Also, I have way more dry erase markers than I realized. This whole section, this from here to here, is all dry erase markers. Like, all of these are dry erase markers, which is crazy. Didn't realize I had that many. But I guess since we just did the dry erase markers, the next most logical thing would probably be. Hanging up my dry erase boards. So this is a set of three boards. There's a calendar, a little like blank one, and then like a checklist type uh, dry erase board. And they all have cork boards on the bottom. Um, and it does come with like magnets. It comes with two dry erase markers. You know, I just said I don't need any more. And then uh, the stuff you need to hang it. Just separated all my little hardware stuff here. All right. So I need a hammer, a level, a pencil, and a tape measure. I think I have all those things right in front of me. Here's the tape measure. Here's my level. Hammer is in here. So here's the calendar. Um, just blank. You fill in the month yourself. And it just has the little place, you know, to latch onto the wall. So this is just like the blank. Write whatever you want. Still has the corkboard at the bottom. And this one is like a checklist. How am I going to maneuver these? I don't know. Because I think they're going to go right here behind me. So let's say I want the calendar like here maybe. I got this level from Ikea. It's very fancy. It's actually a laser level. So it has a laser on the end here if you needed to like go around a corner or something and keep something level. So that would technically be level. But for this, it says that the holes need to be 10.25 inches apart. How far is this apart? That's what I have to do. <laughs> Where are our items? Here's my hammer. Hammer, also out of an IKEA tool set. I needed a better tape measure. I'm not gonna lie, that's close enough. These two. Okay. I know it doesn't look like much, but I'm glad it's here. Not perfect, but I'd say it's pretty dang close. I guess while I'm hanging things on the wall, I might probably should just continue hanging things on the wall, except there's only two things that I know where I want them to go next, but I need to do some switching around real quick. So I want to hang my degrees here above my work side of my desk. Um, I did just have to switch out frames, so I didn't have my bachelor's degree in a frame, but what I had framed was uh, this. So I got the Distinguished Business Scholar recognition when I got my bachelor's degree, so this was in a frame, and then I just had my actual diploma living in the diploma cover, so in, in the thing they hand you at the graduation ceremony. Um, but when I took this out of the frame, I realized this was behind it. Didn't know that there were two certificates in that frame. But now these just don't have a home, which is fine. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just gonna stick them in the diploma cover for now. And then, I don't know, they'll just be memories at this point. So the, the way I think I'm gonna do it, I want my masters on top and then my bachelors underneath. Yeah, I think that's how I'm gonna do it. But now I just need to figure out the placement. Do I want them centered to the wall 
for the center to, well, probably to the wall because who knows if my workstation will always look like this. <laughs> I'm having one of those, it's got to get worse before it gets better moments because right now the floor and my desk look way worse than it did before I started. <laughs> so this wall is 39 inches, almost 40. a lot easier than I thought and I am hanging these with push pins like I everything in my life except for the thing you just watched me hang over there has been hung with a push pin and it has never failed me I'm not mad about it I am not mad about it perfect that looks good to me. How about we actually clean off the desk so I can have some space to work on it? The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing when I'm kissing what I miss. Won't you listen? Brown sugar, babe. I guess high off your love. I don't know how to feel. Hey, okay. The desk is cleared off. But now we're gonna tackle something that has been bothering me in this office since I put it in here. This lamp. I'm gonna turn off all the lights in here and then show y'all just how sad the lighting in here is. Okay, so I have a desk lamp. I just turned that off and then I have my ring light on. There is this green light in the corner, but I don't think that's gonna make a big difference as far as the lighting in this room goes. But I'm about to turn off the ring light and then turn this lamp on. Isn't that pitiful? It doesn't do much. And it's mostly because it's angled down, but now I don't know where I'm gonna put this lamp because I have a lamp similar to this already in my living room. But we do have a solution. So to replace Mr. Sad Lamp, we have this lamp that I got from Walmart. Um, I actually got this during my after Christmas sale shopping. Um, this was the thing that I didn't show in the video because I had already brought it in here and it was just sitting waiting to be put up. So let me assemble this really quick, get this out of here and get this going. Don't know if you can tell a difference, but this makes a huge this makes a huge difference. Um, it's still not as bright in here as I'd like it to be, but that's why I have a second lamp on my desk. Makes it a lot brighter, but this is much better than the light aiming at the ground. Um, maybe I'll show you kind of like side by side the difference in the lighting, but this is definitely better. <sighs> what do I want to do next? Okay, I need to get out, get the garbage out of here from the lamp. And then I was gonna try to do like some more wall decor and stuff. Hold on, let me turn some more lights on so you can see me. So I need to get the garbage from right here. But this actually might be, oh, why is my thing crooked? I need to get something stickier to hold down my diploma because it keeps wanting to be crooked. Stop. It's probably not gonna stay. Um, I actually, once I get the garbage out of here, I'll give y'all a little tour of what I've done so far, but I think this is the end of part one of decorating and organizing my office. Let me just, let me show you what I did. All right, so everything I did today was on this wall, this wall here, um, and then the lamp. So I really focused on getting my desk organized. So if you saw from the before, these two shelves were crazy junky. And now there's hardly anything down there, which gives me so much space and so many options. I don't know what's gonna end up down there, but I'm glad that this space is clear. 
Um, the only thing I did to the work side of my desk, other than remove the pen holder that I hold, had over there and consolidate it with my other one, was hang my diplomas here. Excuse the fact that the bottom one is crooked. I need to get something sticky to keep it from tilting, but you get the picture. <laughs> and then I have my uh, pen, pencil, marker, office supply organization here. And that just rotates. I have all of my dry erase markers here. This is pencils, highlighters, and random stuff. Um, this side is permanent markers. And then this is pens. And then on the uh, play, quote unquote, side, my personal side of my desk, um, I really just cleared off the junk and garbage. I have this sitting here. I showed you guys that in the beginning. I'm not sure what will end up on there, if anything. It may just end up at the bottom here, but I haven't decided yet. I just turned on my little uh, sunset lamp, so that's what you're seeing on the wall there. And then you also have me hang these. I did fill in the months and then put a little note there. I am very pleased with that. And I'm also very pleased with my lamp. I am so glad I finally got this head start on getting my office together. This is going to be a multi-part series. I'm not sure how many parts because there are so many blank walls in this office. Um, like blank walls as in there's nothing on them and there's no furniture against them. So <laughs> um, I do have plans to get more furniture for this room. I do want either a futon or a day bed uh, situation to go uh, against one of the walls in here so I can, you know, double this as a guest room and office because when people come to spend the night, uh, I do blow up the air mattress in here. And actually, I had just taken it out um, before I started filming because, you know, I had company for New Year's Eve and uh, this, this room was slept in. <laughs> so this is technically supposed to be a bedroom, but I made it an office. So I want it to be able to be both. I haven't found the right piece of furniture at the right price yet, but I am definitely on the lookout for that. There may end up being a TV in here somewhere at some point, somehow. But yeah, there's lots to be done in here. But thanks for, you know, watching the beginning of the process of the transformation. It already feels a lot better in here. Um, Especially with the shelves under the desk being cleared out because that just looked so bad. But like, it was just piles of stuff under there. But now it is organized and now I can, you know, figure out what else can go under there. What other types of organizational bins and stuff since there's no drawers on this desk. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all. Peace.